What's going on you guys? It is the Talking Sasquatch. Welcome to the channel. As many of y'all know already, Linus Tech Tips actually featured Flipper Zero on a video. Obviously, this led to a great deal of new interest. Then, Flipper restocked 14,000 units and they all sold out within a couple of days. So what that means is that there's so many people now that are just getting their flippers. I made my first video, which is Flipper Zero, how to be a hacker now, way back in December. So many things have changed since then. I thought, what better time to revisit the beginner's guide to Flipper Zero. Now don't worry, I'm gonna be throwing in new material, new processes, new procedures, revamp the entire thing so that it's never been easier to get your flipper hack ready. So sit back and relax, let's get at it. All right, so first things first, I've got my flipper right here. When I first did the video, I did not have the silicone case for it. So there's actually a few things about this case that have led to a lot of questions. So I'm glad that now that I have it, I can explain those things. So basically one of the issues was that when you take your SD card and put it into the flipper itself, always, uh, always notice that it does go in upside down they weren't able to push it in far enough. So they keep pushing at it, but you can see it's not actually in all the way. So I just grab myself a little popsicle stick and give it the old push until it clicks in. So now you can see that's all the way in. Now you know your SD card's going to work correctly. You won't have any weird connectivity issues. That very important. Make sure it's plugged in all the way. I know it sounds obvious, but make sure. So we're just gonna go ahead, take our flipper, connect it to our USB-C cable that came with it. The reason why we like to use the one that came with it is that we know it carries data and power. So it'll do everything we need. Then we're gonna download and install QFlipper so we can update it for the first time. So we're gonna hop on over to our desktop and open up Google and just search for QFlipper. That simple, that easy. Update firmware via QFlipper. Download QFlipper for Windows. Save, I don't need to save, oh, whatever. We can be in my 3D printing folder that's fine I don't care download that and please wait while setup's loading unpacking data this is all normal next next um I don't need desktop USB DFU driver make sure you install that because if something goes horribly wrong with your flipper which it's very possible we've all run into DFU issues in the past um that'll allow you to drop into a recovery mode so that's important so you're gonna click install wait for that to install and finish now that that's installed we're just going to go ahead and open up q flipper since our uh flipper is already plugged in up oh, you can see i've actually got a little animation that i made for astro on here right now cute little deer and let's go back we're going to click the update button and then we're going to update so you can update to different versions of the firmware by clicking right here you have the release the release candidate and the development candidate. The development candidate has more features that haven't been fully bug tested. However, in my experience, I always install development. I've never really run into issues with it. So we're gonna go ahead and click the update button. What it's gonna do, it's gonna send the firmware files to the flipper and then um, it's gonna install on the flipper itself. So this just takes a second, it's just transferring files. Then it's gonna flip over to basically a blank screen on QFlipper while the flipper itself is doing the firmware update. A few moments later. So now, yeah, you can no longer see the screen, but if you look at the actual flipper itself, it says updating, writing the radio frequency or radio firmware for that matter. It'll say installing resources, all this other good stuff, super normal. Just give it time and it will work no problem all right after a few minutes of installation you can see firmware success hooray now we've got stock flipper zero firmware now i know some of you are asking hey why are you installing the official firmware i just want to run directly to custom firmware well it's actually important because it does change some of the file structures and it just gets everything updated to the latest version i've definitely tried installing without doing this before and you do run into issues so just install, update the latest firmware, no problem, easy, and then everything will be easier from there. All right, so now that we have our firmware updated to the latest version of the development build, we need to add some more files to the Flipper because Flipper can do a lot of cool stuff, but it does need files to be able to do a lot of these things. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the GitHub of none other than Uber Guidos to download all those files. We'll just go to Google and then search for Uber Guidos. Here we are. And then we can open up his repository and then click right on Flipper. Last time what we did was I downloaded the zip file, which didn't work because you can't really un unzip that file very quickly. Then we were using down git and that has token issues. So today what we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply use GitHub desktop. So we'll click the button here. It's just gonna copy the URL. Then we'll open up GitHub desktop. So here we go, GitHub desktop. This is my version. And then we're gonna go file clone repository we're going to go ahead and click on the URL part, paste it right here, go to clone. I don't want to put it in my website folder. That's silly. Um, let's put it in creative space, GitHub. I'll select that and then name this to Uber Guidos. You can put files wherever you want. I personally don't care, but that's where I'm putting mine. And then with a decent enough internet connection, this thing will actually download pretty quick and you don't have to decompress it. So everything works 10 times easier than the original guide. Hey, look at that, we're all set. And Microsoft Defender found some viruses. <laughs> That's fun. Let me show you what to do about that. Review. So don't send that. One of the things that's going on is that inside of this file um, or this directory is a whole bunch of bad USB scripts. Windows is designed to block those. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to turn on a folder exemption for Windows Defender. Go ahead and just pick manage settings and then do 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 add or remove exclusions. It's going to pop up a little Windows security thing, add an exclusion. And then I'm just going to select the folder where I downloaded all these, which is actually I had to change it because I ran out of space video space and Uber Guido select folder. So that's going to exclude the Uber Guido's folder from Windows Defender. So it's going to let us have all of our files and it won't get mad at us again. So since Windows freaked out, I'm actually just going to hit the fetch origin button again, which is going to resync all our files to make sure we didn't lose anything in the process. Good, good. So we're just going to pop back over to face cam. So I can show you, super simple, we're gonna actually take the SD card out. This takes forever to transfer files over QFlipper. It uses SPI, which is a very slow USB interface. So what you really wanna do is you wanna take your SD card out and plug it into your computer. Again, I'm gonna use my little, my little uh, stick. Ugh, I just cut my nail, so it's really hard to get it out. Got it. And I'm just gonna plug it into a USB hub. So that'll make all my file transfers 10 times faster. So pro tip. Take the SD card out, plug it in your computer somehow. If you have a 3D printer, most of the time they come with a free one. So again, pull it out of the, the Q flipper, plug it in your computer. All right, back over to desktop. We're gonna go ahead and take our SD card, slam that sucker directly into our USB hub, and it just opens right up. So here is the contents of our USB card, um, or SD card for that matter. So you'll notice all these different folders. Now I do have uh, files already on here, but for the sake of this example, super easy. Anyway, you'll notice bad USB corresponds with Uber's bad USB folder. So we can open up there and see all these files that he has. So what I'm gonna do is just control A and control C to copy all of those files, open up bad USB on my SD card, and then just paste them right on over. It takes a second. Um, it's not actually because it's a huge file size. It's just because there's a lot of folders and a lot of files. Now you can see why if you were doing this over the slower interface that is the um, the SPI interface over QFlipper, this would take absolutely forever. You'll also notice that the, uh, the time on there, the time remaining kind of pops all over the place as it keeps trying to figure out how many files there are and you know how long everything is going to take. All right, well, that took a little while, but we're done. And what you're going to do is you can go back and then every one of these folders, GPIO, infrared, NFC, sub gigahertz, RFID, all those you can transfer over to the SD card the same exact way. No problem. That's how you get all of the scripts, all of the files, all of the remotes, everything you need 
directly from Uber's repo the easy and fast way. Quick side note in case I forgot, which I did forget to mention, if you don't actually have like a GPIO folder, just make the GPIO folder. You can even just take it, whoop, yep, and just drag it right on over that way. So don't worry if you don't have the folder already. So now if you plan on using the official firmware, we can go ahead and start installing some applications. So you wanna know, navigate over to flippedc.org. I actually pronounced the name of it correctly this time. And you can actually look at all of the cool folders, folders, all of the cool applications that they have to install. So let's say I wanna install the one and only Doom. So what we can do is, oh, <laughs> I forgot a very important step. We're gonna go and we're gonna take the SD card and plug it back into our flipper. So give me one second, I'll do that. Okay, so also very important. Once you're running Flip C, you wanna go ahead and close Q Flipper because Flip C is actually going to directly control your flipper, install the files for you. Uh, so if you have Q Flipper over and open, it won't be able to do that. So we had talked about firmware. So we installed the development version of the firmware before. So that means that it's gonna compile the firmware based off of our actual version of our firmware. You can also use that to install on any of the other custom firmwares out there. If you're using Squatchware, Squatchware actually just, just works the same as development official. So you can use this setting right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and click the install button and it's going to uh, download it and it's already done. And then we can run it on the flipper. Boom, check your flipper and it's already running. You can barely hear it, but it's actually playing. And at this point, I believe I can open Q flipper. Yeah, and you can see we're running doom, press fire. Bum, 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 running doom. So always fun. It's one of the first things everybody wants to do when they first get their flipper is run doom. Where's the imp? I know there's an imp down here. Where are you, buddy? There you are. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Bam, bam. Yeah, sit down. So yeah, that's how you install apps on Flipper using flipc.org. It's an amazing, amazing tool and something I hadn't mentioned and didn't exist originally. So that's really cool, flipc.org. So this leads us to our final step, which is installing custom firmware. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna download Rogue Master. You can just, whoop. Let's go to, yep, roguemaster.net works just fine. Click on the GitHub link, shabang. And then we're just gonna go down here, scroll down, do, do, do. And this is already on our latest release. So good link, makes it a little bit quicker, skips the stuff. And we're gonna go ahead and download the zip version of the firmware right here. Not the source code, do not download the source code. Zip version, and this one has the animations in it, so we're gonna keep that. Go ahead, I'm gonna throw this on the desktop for the moment. Bam, that should be done momentarily right there. Very important as well. Minimize, minimize. We're gonna drag and drop this into our desktop. Make sure you decompress the file before bringing it into QFlipper. Also, and I'll show you this, this is a great way to break everything. You can't drag files from inside a zip folder directly into QFlipper. It will cause it to time out and it will not work. So now that we have our decompressed folder right here, that's our update. I'm gonna open the SD card. Hello, there we go. Scroll down to updates, which is right here. If you don't have an update folder, simply make one. I'm gonna delete this just to make sure I don't confuse myself on the build I'm installing. Drag and drop. It's gonna say the file's too large. I don't care. You can also remove the SD card for the update process as well. From what I have seen, this is pretty bulletproof most times. I know it can crash occasionally, but it is so seldom and just do it again and you won't have any problems. So if you don't want to pull your SD card out to install updates, I don't blame you. Again, this works almost every single time. Two very boring minutes later. And we're done. It's that easy. You can do this with any firmware. All you have to do is go to the GitHub of whatever firmware you want to install. Go to the releases tab, download the zip, extract it, drag and drop exactly what we just did. It will work every time. Super easy. So here we're going to open back up here. There we go. We're going to press the down button and then go over to left. 
which is going to go into our browser. The browser, we're going to scroll all the way down to our update folder right here. And we're just going to open up the, not that one, this is the one I just downloaded. And we're going to go to update and then run an app. And then we're just going to click the install button. So it's going to do the same thing kind of that it did when we installed the official update. The Q flipper screen turns off and then all the actual work is being done on the flipper itself. You're just going to wait a few minutes and it'll pop up and everything will be good to go. One quick thing to note is that it does take a long time updating resources. That's actually all of the files that come pre-installed with the firmware itself. Don't feel bad or don't be afraid if it takes a long time. That's perfectly normal. But here we are. Let's go. We have updated our firmware to Rogue Master. Fun fact, with Rogue Master, you can hold the center button down and it will cycle through animations. Right now, I have a uh, custom passport. Oh, no, it's got some unlocked stuff. Hey, new Rudo run. This is one of my animations. Pretty cool. Uh, painting. Let's see what else is in here. It's been a minute since I poked through all the animations. It looks like that's what's unlocked at my level. But yeah, super cool. That's how you install custom firmware. Super, super simple, super easy. Now you've got all of the scripts that you need. Now you've got any application file that you could want. We've got custom firmware. We've got everything. Now you're ready to go. So yeah, it's really that easy. Just a few steps to go through. We've got it streamlined for the easiest way to do everything. No more weird mistakes where I download zip folders and I'm like, oh crap, this doesn't work. We've got our flipper. We got it running our super cool custom firmware. Everything's ready to go. We've got all our files. So thank you so much for watching. I know for some of you guys, it's gonna be the first time on the channel. Check out all my other videos. I've got a ton more Flipper Zero stuff. Literally almost anything I could figure out how to do on a flipper. I made a video for it. I've got some cool stuff coming up. I've got the most ridiculous uh, flipper stem development board learning tool I've ever seen coming up soon. We're trying to do some collaborations. We've got a lot of cool stuff coming out. So thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.